Hi, this is Vicki Gilford Parnell, and I have come to share a word I received last night, 10-15-22 at 7.22 p.m., and it is called Judgment's Hand Still Falls. The day is 10-16-23. It's 8.35 a.m. Before we start, I would like you to pray with me, and um, the Lord has asked me to read the No Retaliation Clause. This is something I pray every morning, um, and so that again a place is under the barrier of stealth and invisibility in Jesus Christ's name declaring there's no retaliation no backlash or no interference of the kingdom of darkness of Lucifer and Satan's kingdom and those of you that, that keep wondering about the ring this is my I can do all things through Christ ring Philippians 4 13 and it's a reminder to me that I'm married to Jesus Christ just so you know let's get that out so we don't have to answer a bunch of questions Okay, this is a no retaliation or interference clause backlash that I insert into my day every morning. I decree and declare standing on Job 22:28 for no retaliation, backlash, or interference. All attempts shall of any kind be sentenced and judged immediately up to and including destruction of all owned territory and trade routes implicated and the permanent removal of all titles, inheritance, status, positions, prestige, calling, ranks, abilities, and such like in the spirit, in the flesh, in all creation, out of creation, of all recognized and unknown participants, including human agents and creatures in existence, from the past, present, and or future, every age, timeline, dimension realm, in time and out of time, reality, and such like, in creation and out of creation, in all existence, known by God of heaven, the God in heaven, for he exists everywhere and in everything. Also, all participants where applicable from the kingdom of darkness of the spiritual type, if no longer needed for God's divine plan to be fulfilled, to be bound in everlasting chains, irons and fetters, everlasting chains as in Jude 6, Jude 1, 6, and to endure heavy loads and grievous torments, and whatever else is just and right, handed down from the courts of heaven. For those who are savable and of a human nature, more human creature, more human than machine or mechanical, and such like were applicable, receive the gospel of Jesus Christ. Accept him, confess him, that Jesus Christ has came in the flesh, born of a woman, died for your sins, rose again on the third day, renounced Satan, renounced Lucifer, renounced the dark kingdom, and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior choose now if you don't choose Jesus salvation then receive your judgment with the others immediately if any participant is not savable then I petition for immediate disgracing of such individual or individuals the removal and death standing on Exodus 22 18 and Leviticus 20 27 according to the written word of God for he knows those who are his the removal shall aid the children of God and eventually those left behind. All of these types still needed but unrepented, yet still savable. I call for the total disgracing of them in every way, form, and fashion, in all existence, known by God because He exists everywhere, in time, out of time, in all, even in, 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 in all, God exists everywhere until the time when they have fulfilled their divine part of God's plan for them. Then I petition for their immediate removal and or deaths if they still are unrepentant of their sins. I pray this in Jesus Christ's name while invoking his name which brings forth the power of God the Father, Jesus Christ and his Holy Spirit and a place is under his blood in Jesus name. All right, so that is the retaliation clause that I talk about at times. And Lord willing, if the Lord leads, I will put that on the www.mylovelyjesusministry.com website if the Lord leads. So with that being said, let's pray and get this started. Father God, oh, I praise you. I praise you. You are good. You are just. You are righteous. You are holy. You are holy. And I give you praise. I give you praise, I give you praise, I give you praise. Now I ask Holy Spirit, you lead my mouth and let me not speak anything that's not from God in Jesus Christ's name. 
Now I bring forth this in the name of Jesus. Hey, hey, nay, she, Lord, I praise you. I praise you and I give you glory and I give you praise. And Lord, again, I'm placing this under the barrier of stealth and invisibility. If anything doesn't need to be heard, seen, or whatever, Father, I'm asking you to take care of it in Jesus' name. If this video does not need to be seen by some of the enemy or any of the enemy, then hide it. But if I am not afraid, Father, you do whatever needs to be done. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bind every spirit that's been assigned to us. I hereby cancel all spells and curses in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I dismantle putting everything under the blood of Jesus and sealing it. Any traps, triggers, booby traps, bombs, or such like that they might try, they might try to place on these videos, the sites, the internet, and any such like here and on the people, the locations and the people and their devices, Lord, and their internet in Jesus' name. I cover the cell towers in the blood of Jesus. Father God, all the enemies, all of the enemies, satellites and such like in the name of Jesus, I send forth arrows of the Lord with bows of steel of the Lord. Enhanced with lightning up into the satellites to send down the fire of God to burn up the satellite circuitry in Jesus name of any not needed father in the skies on the earth in the earth in the water above the water in Jesus mighty name father you know what needs to be done you know what's needed what's not and and I felt like you needed me to do that so in the name of Jesus and every cell tower again we sell them in the blood of Jesus any kind of communication network of the enemy right now I Lord are they all needed those that are not needed father God in the name of Jesus I send those arrows with the hunters and fishers of the Lord through to seek out the ones that are not needed send those arrows through Lord and corrupt the software with the blood of Jesus corrupt the software because the the evil cannot withstand the holiness of your blood and let the fire of God purge and cleanse everything in Jesus name now I cancel every plot gin snare every written command every spoken command every form of communication that's been sent out against me my family this ministry and every person that listens and heeds that that is of God or that will be of God in Jesus name stamping it all with the blood of Jesus I plead him as my defense his blood is my defense in Jesus name and I cancel them in the almighty name of Jesus Christ in all existence known by God because God of heaven exists everywhere daddy God is in heaven he fills the heavens he fills the earth he is creator of all he exists in all and I give you praise. Now you send this where it needs to go, Holy Spirit, in every direction. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, soften our hearts, even my heart, Lord. Soften my heart even more. Give me ears to hear what the Spirit, the Holy Spirit is saying, and eyes to see the truth. And help me see your divine revelation in your word. And the people that are truly seeking you, Father, them too. And those that are still sleeping, wake them up, Lord. Wake them up before it's too late. In Jesus Christ's name, I declare and decree. In the name of Jesus, amen. Hallelujah. All right, praise the Lord. Let me get a sip of coffee right quick. Thank you, Jesus. Be grateful and thankful for everything because it is your God that gives it to you. All right, let's get to this word. I had been praying and um, off and on the day and I was hearing judgment's hand falls and then he called father god called me to him at 7 22 p.m 10 15 22 i will talk with you daughter here i am for whatever you need oh god judgment's hand has fallen heavy across your world and nation war has broken out in my beloved nation israel where are those who once were called a friend to israel Judgment's hand has fallen. It has fallen heavy, yet it shall still fall some more. For mankind, the inhabitants of this world and earth, stubbornly refuses to return from their wicked, evil ways, loving the ways of the flesh more than me, their holy God and Creator. It is out of my great love for each soul I have created that your world still stands that it still stands today but not for much longer I shall cause this world to be melted 
with fervent heat, and I shall purge this world, this planet, of all sin's traces and residue. Come, repent, I say, with true sorrowful hearts, acknowledging your sins and trespasses against yourself, your brethren, as well as me. Can't you see how judgment falls as storm upon storm increases? Each with their intensity amplified with the effects causing calamity, destruction, and desolation. In the wake of all these things, each shall contribute in causing the famine worldwide to increase because the weather patterns have become so unpredictable. Why? Because I control the weather. The elements, the seasons, and skies. They answer to my command as a creator. Man thinks he's in control because I allow from time to time his devices, machines, and weapons created by their hands and your enemy, the kingdom of darkness, to perform my will up to a point. Then I will take control and run its course as judgment's hand fulfill, judgment's hands fulfill my will. So all can be given one more chance for some, more opportunities for others to repent of their sins, change their lifestyles by accepting my son Jesus Christ into their hearts. The time clock of heaven is no more. Excuse me. The time clock of heaven is no more as this world finishes its last leg of the called for time to bring the healing of creation and the salvation of mankind and the savable inhabitants of your world off your world and within it. Excuse me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Little daughter. Pestilence and plagues are erupting, being manufactured one right after another to fulfill my prophetic scriptures of truth, the word of God. My word, known and new, shall break forth, even as the plagues of Egypt return. Surely, excuse me, such woe and misery for those who do not repent. Get your hearts right. I see inside your hearts. Many are still hiding and harboring sin in them. Do you still not realize that death is knocking at the door of so many? Including children of my own I'm taking home to be with me? Are your hearts prepared for what is to come? I am sending my son. He's not delayed or even late, but exactly right on time. But before he comes for his bride, tell me this. If my son's return is later than you pray or hope it is, and you're waiting on him without drawing closer to him and me, will you be able to withstand the horrors of the man-made, lab-created illnesses I have allowed to be created by evil, wicked people? Most are not. I am also about to shake this world, moving landmarks and islands out of place. Mountains shall move. Mountains shall fall. Land shall split. Are you ready? Tornadoes and tempestuous storms are still on their way as the three days of darkness starts to begin its final descent upon your world. The rent, the rent in your atmosphere by the CERN-type machines and devices has only gotten larger. The rainbow colors are about to make their appearance worldwide. Just as I have spoken, just as I have warned, your da warned you, daughter, that I shall use man's technology and equipment, their computers and evil schemes, to bring about the judgments I have called forth by my command. My son Jesus does my bidding. He has seen to it that all shall go as I have commanded. I am God. It can be no other way. My word shall always accomplish all that I say or please for it to do. Little daughter, it's a Revelation 12 moment in time. 
and most of my children have not any true understanding of what these scriptures refer to. I tell you now, chapter 11, chapter 12, chapter 13, and chapter 14 in its beginning are interwoven together in ways men or inhabitants do not understand. It's not as most intellectual minds of your world thinks it is. Why? Because instead of earnestly seeking me for the truth and divine revelation, they have sought among other great minds of your world, suge world suggestions and teaching. teachings. All who earnestly seek me in my son Jesus Christ's name shall find me. And my Holy Spirit shall lead each to the truth of my word. My word, not man's, not Nephilim, not fallen angels, or even my holy angels. This is why so many of my children still are not ready. They listen to every man-made doctrine, every prophecy, every dream, and such like things, but never open my holy word to find the truth. Nor do they seek me without an already preconceived, made-up mind, leaving them unteachable, and then so thereafter, deceived. Hear me, little daughter, your days of warning are almost over. Those who have ears to hear, hear me now. For soon, the mouths of my people sounding the warnings as a, as a whole shall cease to be heard. Excuse me. Thank you, Lord. This is because I send my son in just a mere moment in time for those who are pure and holy through my son's sacrifice. Little daughter, the enemy has came in disguise from every direction in your life. It's time for the enemy to be made to flee. Hallelujah. This goes for all my true children. Hallelujah. Little daughter, after a series of other dreams to share quickly, you shall turn your face toward my beloved Israel fully. It's time to fulfill your calling. Just as it's time for my 144,000 to arise and walk in their calling as warriors of light. And my son, Jesus, and accompanied, led by my son, Jesus, and accompanied by a host of heaven's angels. But until then, judgment's hand hits harder. Hold on to me, little daughter, and to my son's nail-pierced hands. Things are about to get very, very bad and very dark as woes and calamities fall upon, fall from my heavens. Now go, my daughter. Go and warn the people once again before time runs completely out. I will, Daddy God. With Jesus' help, I will. Here are the verses that he gave me. Matthew eleven fifteen, Isaiah fifty five eleven, Luke twenty one twenty eight, James one twelve, Matthew twenty four thirty seven thirty nine, Philippians three, eighteen through nineteen, Luke twelve, forty, Romans six twenty three. Proverbs fourteen twelve, Revelations eleven three through seven, Revelation fourteen one through five, Revelation six twelve, Matthew twenty four seven, Deuteronomy twenty eight fifty eight through sixty one, Second Peter three ten and twelve through thirteen, and First Samuel sixteen seven. So I'm asking you not to take my word. Take this before Jesus Christ. Take it to Father God in Jesus Christ's name. Whichever way you choose to, to pray. Pray to Father God. Which in the um, Lord's Prayer. Jesus did pray our Father which art in heaven. But we have been given a name above all names to Jesus Christ. We can approach the throne in Jesus Christ's name. So I prayed to both of them. In Jesus Christ's name. Well, please lay this before the Lord. Um, I have been having a lot of personal dreams, dreams about my calling, dreams about things coming. But last night I did have a dream of warning that, Lord willing, I will be uploading.
today if he's ready for me to release it. And then I will still be continuing as the Holy Spirit leads to upload the other dreams. There's other dreams that still have to be redone due to uh, interference from the enemy that God has revealed. So praise God for that. Dreams of what is to come from 53023, which is about war here in America. Um, climbing to my calling dream, which actually goes with another dream about um, I've got an army of my own, the 144,000. Yeah, climbing to my calling dream, dream of what is to come still. And I think there's one more proclamation that I will have to do. But I will get them out right now. Uh, the official proclamation of the Antichrist time and error. I've got to get that one out too as the Lord leads. So if you're looking for these videos and you're not finding them, they have been brought down. Because even though the information was still good and pure, the um, people inside them were not. And so therefore I had to take them down under the leading of the Holy Spirit. So please pray about all these things. Um, again, as far as the PDFs, if I'm able, they will be put on the website. If I'm not, then for those of you that can, pull the transcribe off of YouTube or whatever is needed. I know sometimes they don't always do the words, but right now my main focus is getting the word out. Getting the word out and, and spending time in prayer, seeking the Lord, and also praying over the emails. So the other, as long as the word is out, it's out. But if I can, as the Lord leads, because I'm not going to pull away from my private time with Jesus, I will be led by Him in all things. So please pray about all these things that's coming. It's written in Scripture. It's written in the Holy Word of God. But before I get off here, I have to ask, if you don't know Jesus Christ, if you're scared from all that's coming in, we're not supposed to fear. Children of God are not supposed to fear. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. That's in Psalms 23, 4. With thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed upon thee. Isaiah 26, 3. For the peace of God which passes all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds to Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 7. What's, what's the, what we would call a secret to not fear and to be in? Focus on Jesus. 2 Timothy 1, 7. For God has not given us a spirit of fear. Fear is not of God. There is a healthy fear, which means like when you're in physical danger, like something's getting rid is falling and you know to run you know you have that spurt of, of fear to get you out of there to preserve your life that's a healthy fear but the fear that keeps you in torment that plays on your mind the fear of, of what is going to come the just fear consuming thoughts and worries and concerns that is a tormenting spirit and if you're enduring that and you're a child of God why don't you just Take your authority in Jesus Christ. Loose that thing off of you and command it to come out and leave. And I mean come out and leave because they attach themselves to you. In Jesus Christ's name. In faith. Believing in the power of his name. It's not what you do. It's the power of his name. And you've been given absolute authority. Absolute authority in Jesus Christ's name. And when you live your life lining up with Jesus Christ. You're not going to abuse that authority. The Holy Spirit's going to guide you. And then also, the enemy knows, the devil, Lucifer, they know if your heart's right or if they're sinning your heart. They know who to be afraid of and who not. As a child of God, they're supposed to be afraid of you. That's why it says, submit yourself therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. James 4, 7. But if you're, you're in this world and you're backslidden, meaning you've turned from the Lord, you're partly serving the Lord, but partly serving, seeking in the pleasures of the world, or if you've never known Him and, and you're overwhelmed by all that's coming, you, you're fearful of these sicknesses, you're still in fear of what happened in 2020 or of the sickness that come across this world, that's torment. God never created you to be in torment. 
If you want perfect peace that surpasses all understanding of man. If you want to feel love like never before, true love, the love you were intended to feel from Father God, from the Creator, from Jesus Christ, you need to accept Him into your heart. So I'm going to say this little prayer and I ask that you please. And you can say this one or something similar. This is just an example of how you can pray for those that never have prayed before to Jesus Christ, to Father God. So, dear Jesus, I ask you come into my heart. I am truly sorry of all I've done and my sins and I repent. And I ask that you would cleanse me with your precious blood. I confess and believe that Jesus, you rose from the dead victorious. Even that you were born by a virgin miraculous birth. Another miracle of Father God and Jesus Christ. I believe you rose again on the third day triumphantly. So I could be saved. Everything you did through your blood, through your sacrifice, was so I could be saved and live with you forever in heaven. So in Jesus' name, in your name, Jesus Christ, I confess this before God and man. And it's that simple. The gospel of Jesus Christ is that simple. And for those of you that says, Oh, I don't want to have to give up all these pleasures of the world. I like my life. I like, even though you're in torment. We're not forced to give things up. We give them up willingly because as we learn and love our Savior more and more, and He loves on us and reveals Himself and starts showing divine revelation and all, we want to please Him and He wants to please us. And these things, we, we they, they lose their grasp and control on us. Their hold over us. The more you surrender to Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, the more control of these things in this world you let go. You're supposed to let go of the things of this world. Because this world is not your home. You belong to Jesus Christ. You should not be putting roots down and be so concerned about what goes on here instead of seeking. Seeking heaven. Seeking Jesus Christ first and foremost. All right. If you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I would like to hear from you. Um, the email ministry email right now is pray.856-856-myjesus at gmail.com. I will be glad to answer questions about the Bible or, or anything about salvation. Um, if it's just certain questions about, about PDFs and things like that, as the Lord leads, I will get to them. But the... the main focus right now and the priority is praying for those with real needs and the Holy Spirit is discerning and also reaching out and aiding in any way possible through Jesus Christ because this is a ministry first and foremost based and set up on Jesus Christ because it is his ministry it's not mine I'm just simply the tool I'm just a willing servant sitting here I'm nothing more than a daughter of Jesus Christ a servant to all is what I want to be. One of my daily prayers is, Lord, keep me humble, whatever the cost. All right. I'm going to get off here. I'm rambling, and I have more things to do for Jesus. So God bless. Stay under the blood. And know that surely He is coming. He really is. Bye-bye for now.